Hey guys, Edog Place here, bringing you guys another video. Today we are going to be hopping back into Tap Titans 2 for another video. So today we do have quite a few things to do, but as I can see, as you guys can see in the bottom right, there is one of those big crates that give us lots of money, so we should have plenty of money to go through this episode. And I did do a little bit of playing offline, didn't do a whole lot though, but let's go ahead and collect that. We got... I don't know how much, but we got a lot of, so we're at 1.42 AI, no, we're at 9.8 AI, AI. We got daily reward of 1.01 AI, and 111 AI from that crate. Those chests, I believe that's offline income, it helps dramatically. Like, it just, it gives me so much money every single time. We got two new pets, Mousy level 1 and Harker level 1. Uh, let's go ahead and check out those pets. So Harker is now level 8 with 1,000% pet damage and times 4.2 spell hero damage. Not too bad. And Mousy is now level 6 with one, plus 1.2, 3,000 pet damage and times 3.4 ranged hero damage. So I'm still going to stick with Bubbles. Er, uh, that's not the one that I had on before. Yeah, Nova. Nova is the one that I had on before. Uh, so, with Bubbles, you get 138.41 AG pet damage, and with this, with Nova, you get 316 AG pet damage. So, quite a big difference there. We do have 310 gems, so we have a little bit, not a whole lot to spend. Um, hmm. Gonna go from level 3 to 8, pet damage is gonna go to 180%, and melee hero damage. I uh, don't really want that one, which is this. All hero damage, uh, tap damage, spell hero damage, and ranged hero damage. What's this? Plus 7.018% critical chance. Dragon Quake. That's not too bad, but it is 800 gems. It is a lot of gems. Almost enough for a tier 1 wooden crate, wooden chest. I don't think I'm going to do those ones. They just don't seem really worth it. But I will go ahead and... Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say prestige, but we're not going to prestige. We have a new daily achievement of get 87 critical hits today, so we are going to need to be tapping quite a bit. And if we can't, so we can't buy another guy. I think I am going to spend a lot of money on upgrading this one. The next one is 24.12 AJ, so definitely a huge step up in money. We're not even close to that yet. So I am going to buy this, so we're currently doing 14.22 AG. 220 AG now we are doing with that. That is crazy. Still doing 99% of all of our damage. But we are going to start to tap a little bit this episode. Just because I do want to get our tap damage up. Currently we're level 1228. Doing 190.21 AF per tap. But I definitely want to get that up. Because if we go ahead and take a look here. Hero. So current DPS is 220. That's how much we're getting. From our heroes. If we start tapping. So it does vary quite a bit. If we tap with both hands though. Getting up to 500. Or even 10. I don't know. Whatever. It definitely helps a lot. Is what I'm saying. It really really does help a lot. We're going to go ahead and use some of these. I really want more money. So we'll go ahead and use the money one. I think you just got to tap. Fight. Oh boss battle. We did that easy. Let's keep on tapping up there because I think you have to actually tap it to get it. Do you? No, you don't. You just have to tap. Oh, maybe you do. Maybe you do. I'm not. I'm really not too sure. Another. Ooh, okay. So the boss battle. It seems like once our pet damage. It, pet damage definitely does help a lot. It seems like. Okay, we use the money one. Uh, what if we use that guy? There we go. So now he's doing a lot of damage with us. Hope, look, just absolutely destroying all of these guys. How do they get all the names? Look at all these names. Didn't even think about that. There's names for every single guy we fight. That would take forever to do, man. Oh my god. Why did I say god? I don't know. Could you imagine having that job, making all the names for all these guys? Okay, let's go ahead and check out the clan here. The battle has been won, so we did complete that one. Let's go ahead and do it again. We're going to go and fight. We're 
just over halfway there's still 11 hours left so we do have lots of time only one person did it and he we're already over halfway that is huge let me go ahead and tap as fast as i can so currently we're the highest person in it that well the people that are with me the uh, one to our left is doing 50 per tap one to our right is doing 353 so I don't think I'm doing horrible with the tap damage, but I really think we could do a lot more with it. And the one guy on our left probably just prestiged, so that definitely doesn't help. But I think 424, maybe try to get it up to 500, but I don't know. I'm not really mad about 424. Uh, I tapped 424 times and I did 216,046 damage. Oh, never mind. It goes the opposite way. So we did take off a little bit, but holy monkey making rich. Look at how much he did. Oh my God. He's doing so much. Wow. That is crazy. Um, clan boss dead 18 hours ago. Okay. That's when we beat it. Um, let's go ahead and see if people have been coming on recently. 26 days so soon it looks like I might have to kick some people but no everything else is good okay so we're gonna be doing a lot of tap in this episode let's go ahead and do the money thing again because it did seem to earn us a decent amount of money if I could ever tap it how do I tap it do you have to tap the I don't know maybe so maybe it just breaks every once in a while because I'm not even okay my f oh, one, every person you kill. Okay, that makes sense. So every time I go through an enemy, I get one of those crates. And how much is each one? I don't know. Oh, low battery. No, we'll just close that. Okay. So I don't know how much I get from those. Let's go ahead and activate this dark one again, whatever it is. Just, oh, we should combine that one with the money one too. Because then we're going to be going through guys like crazy and we're getting money for each guy. That could be really, really helpful, honestly. That could be super helpful. Hmm. Again, guys, I did want to talk a little bit about Fortnite. So there was a new update. Well, not a new update, but the other day there was a couple new skins that came out. One was like a T-Rex one. That one looks so cool. So like, I don't know if you guys play a whole lot of Fortnite, but I just find it something to talk about while we're tapping, making some money. Go ahead and activate that guy. Don't really. Oh, yeah. That's the one that does a lot of damage. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that one. But there was a new update. And apparently soon they're adding a couple new guns. And they were talking about adding uh, shopping carts. So you can ride around on shopping carts. Push your friends in them. Things like that. I don't know. I think it's more of kind of like a joke. More than something that's actually going to be used in the game. Maybe I'm sure it will be used for the first little bit. And there will probably be some challenges for it. But... I don't think people are going to use it if they're trying to get the win. Like, if they're going, like, they're really trying to get the win, and I don't think they're going to be using it. Because unless you can store things, items, like, I think it'd be cool, but almost a little too overpowered if you could store items in it. So maybe it can hold two other items. You grab your shopping cart, you have two healables maybe in it. I think that would be a cool idea, but I don't know. It, you'd, it'd be hard to balance it, I think. Find a way to actually be able to balance it so it's not overpowered, but it's not underpowered and useless. So, I don't know. But if you had to push it around, couldn't really go up hills or anything like that. It had to be on concrete, maybe. So, you had to follow the roads. I don't know. It could be an interesting thing. But then, you got to determine how many slots you want to put in it. Or if you want to even be able to hold things in it. Or, I don't know. There's so many things that would go with it that I think it would be difficult to say this is what it is this is how much can hold like if it can even hold things but we'll see what they can do but apparently they're adding a couple new guns which i think is gonna be really nice because only having a burst ar and a fully auto ar might only one of each i don't know makes it a little plain like if they add maybe uh another burst which i think they're doing and another auto i think they're adding both those actually i'm not 100 percent sure but i think they are i think that would add a lot to the game Level 4 Forest Fighter. Okay. Chess piece. Times 4.451 Chariston Gold. I don't know what that is. Ch 
Terrace in gold? Let me know what that is down below in the comments because I really don't know. I don't know what Cherist in gold is. I like the one that we have. We have a pretty good one. Level 5 rare. Um, times 6.066 .06 all gold. So that's actually not bad at all. That one's pretty good. Legendary sword. Times 14 all hero damage. Definitely very nice. We have actually quite a few good ones here. Um, our hat is something, or our spell hero damage is something we definitely need. Times 2.166 spell hero damage. We have a really good melee one times 18.81 melee hero damage. And ranged is decent times 5.505. Not too bad, but at the same time, that's not that good either. So I definitely think we need a better spell hero one. Like, if we had a spell hero one right now, we would be doing so much more damage than we currently are. It would be absolutely ridiculous. But guys, I'm going to have to end this episode here. If you guys have enjoyed another Tap Titans video, please go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe so you guys don't miss any more daily content. Guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.